the infamous child of Krakatoa, Anak Krakatoa, the volcano erupts, spewing ash and lava high into the air. The Anak Krakatoa is the cone inside of the Krakatoa volcano that erupted 1883. The volcano is the infamous Krakatoa archipelago. It erupted, spewing the massive plume of 1,640 feet into the air. The loud eruption could be heard over 90 miles away in Indonesia's capital of Jakarta. And it's the longest eruption since the island collapsed in a major explosion that led to the uh, tsunami of uh, December 2018. The Anak Krakatoa volcano has been erupting since late Friday night through Saturday morning, according to Associated Press. The volcano, which is located in Indonesia's Sunda Strait between the islands of Java and Sumatra, began with the traumatic uh, lava flares caught on CCTV. The Jakarta Post reports that the first eruption began 9.58 p.m., lasting one minute and 12 seconds, blasting ash and smoke over 650 feet high, according to the Center for Volcanology and Geological Disaster Mitigation. The second eruption registered by the volcano at about an hour later, about 45 minutes later at 10.35 p.m., and that lasted for over 38 minutes, spewing out the much larger column of ash that was 1,640 feet high. The Kasbani head of the center said, the eruption is still within the expected level for a disaster-prone area. Continued eruptions could potentially occur, but there has been no detection of volcanic activity that could lead to a greater eruption intensity, they said. No injuries were reported in the explosion, yet military and police officers were on standby to evacuate residents if necessary. The eruption happened as Indonesia continues to take measures against uh, the pandemic, and following the eruption, rumors began spreading on social networks, including many false claims about Krakatoa erupting. Some users even posted video footage of entirely different eruptions from volcanoes on different continents, such as the recently erupting Mex Mexico Mount Popo volcano, claiming it was the one in Indonesia, and that was, of course, not true. Minor activity was reported around Anak Krakatoa, May of 2019, but there has not been a significant er eruption at the small volcano island since December 22, 2018 and the following day. So the child of the volcano known as the child of Krakatoa, that had emerged Anak Krakatoa after the much greater Krakatoa stratovolcano erupted in a cataclysmic explosion 10,000 times more powerful than the uh, Hiroshima bomb. Now, geophysicist Mika McKinnon tweeted, Krakatoa erupted so fiercely in 1883 that it destroyed itself while wrecking devastation. This is the Anak Krakatoa, which means child of Krakatoa, rebuilt by subsequent eruptions. The eruption is not unusual, but it is dangerous, so stay away, she said. Roughly 36,000 people lost their lives in that famous eruption of 1883, destroying hundreds of villages, and sent far ash as far as Europe. While people in New York at that time also reported a hazy reddish sky for days. That was from that 1883 Krakatoa eruption. This is by Elias Marat, Mind Unleashed, Creative Commons. It's on Collective Spark. And according to Volcano Discovery today, it is still erupting. Current status is four out of five red. Typical eruption style, explosive construction of a cinder cone inside the island is the Anak Krakatoa inside the caldera formed by the 1883 eruption. And it has frequent Strombolian activity. It's basically been erupting since 1530, just about, okay, that, after that it was 1680, then 1681, 1684, 80, 1883, the Pliny eruption. And after that, it was 1927, and after that, just about every year after that. Uh, then in 2000, 2001, 2007, 2008, April 2009, uh, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2017, 2018, 2019, and now it's ongoing. So uh, you can understand that it's 
quite active. This is on volcano discovery. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.